being a professional mixed martial artist doesn't mean you're jumping into the ring and getting into a street fight. There's an actual process. There's an actual science. We're gonna take you in to what these guys have to go through. This is Fight Life with Fun Mike. This fight with David Mitchell is the biggest fight of my career. I really had to step up my game plan and really be focused on my strategy for this fight. I had a fight with Max Griffin, you know, a lot of hype, a lot of media around it. It was the biggest West Coast card they've ever had, and uh, it was a fight they've been building for a couple years. We knew David Mitchell was a good fighter. He's been wasting everyone. He won like seven in a row, been um, submitting all these guys, all of them. I think he submitted every guy he fought since the UFC. I trained really hard, had to lose a lot of weight, get my weight way down, so I had to lay off the weights a little bit and get more into running, so you know, hitting the tracks on Sunday. A lot of these guys, what they mess up on, you know, David Mitchell doesn't have a shot. Um, he kind of swings wild punches to get you back enough into the cage so he could drag you out, drag you down off the cage. So, I mean, first things first, don't go to the cage. That's the only place he could take you down. So in the game plan, we've been doing a lot of footwork, staying off the cage, staying circling out. We went where he can't take you down, you know what I mean? So if he could only take you down off the cage, stay off the cage. You know, Monday through Saturday in the gym, training, uh, sparring on Wednesdays, sparring on Saturdays. Uh, we box on Saturdays, we spar on May on Wednesdays. Train hard every other day, wrestling uh, a couple days a week, and doing jiu-jitsu a couple days a week and just all the different uh, elements that it takes to become a, a, a good martial artist, a mixed martial artist, and uh, we trained hard and, um, you know, had a lot of fun. It was a, it was a really, uh, it was a really great adventure. Jamie Hart has been working on me a lot for this fight. He's a better grappler than David Mitchell. He's a black belt. So there's these guys that I roll with that are better than David that, that are helping me be a better grappler. Yeah, I'm a white belt, but that doesn't mean nothing. I've been grappling for like 20 years, and I have a black belt in other arts, and I've been doing nogi my whole life. So, to say I'm a white belt, uh, I don't grapple like a white belt. And um, Jamie Hart really helps me. I mean, he works me, puts me in bad positions. It's an honor to be able to roll with these high-level guys that are that good and really care about you. Striking's always the same. You know, I'm getting better at that. But uh, we also know that uh, he's not a striker. You know, he's sloppy striker, he, you know, he doesn't have any movement, he's like a punching bag. So we worked on angling, throwing different angles at him, but not letting him grab me, you know, because he's, he was, he's going to try to grab me, but I still want to be able to strike him and not get grabbed. So and that comes with footwork, keeping him at the end of the punches, making him pay too, not just bullshit punches, like making him sting, making an impact on him, because once you hit a guy, it changes the fight. Just to... <laughs> hey, this one, he'll know it's for him. Yeah. Sorry, man. That. Something happened. You guys missed Something? that? That was some of my best work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. Did it shut off? What happened? No, no, no. This guy's done it. Give him a fucking break. <laughs> you guys are fired. Get the fuck out. <laughs> the trash talk, the media stuff, I think it was good. Um, we had different styles. Um, you know, Fight Mike and these guys did, did some great some great ones. They did some funny ones, you know, the Hotline Bling one. And, but then they had some real ones that were like movie quality stuff. You know, the Kings Never Die. There was some cool shit, man, that we did. It was professional movie shit. And uh, it really got, it got that feel like this is a fucking real fight. This fight is, people wanna watch it. When we, you know, when we did the, the ESPN parody, that was great. 
people thought it was real. <laughs> you know? <laughs> people were they're like, why'd you walk away? Cause he was saying that stuff. I'm like, yeah, man, I played along too, you know? So like, man, I don't know how you, how you didn't punch him in that room. You know, I'm just like, it ain't no, you guys did a good job, you know? Which is good, cause they all thought it was live. They all did, you know? We did a lot of uh, stuff with Fight Mike, hyping up the fight, and uh, Max seemed to be cooperative with making some cool, fun videos, and uh, I think we could have done even more with it. Like when you guys, when we did like that ESPN video, I think we could do something like that in the future, but in, but in real time, in real life, you know, and actually have interviews like that, kind of like media days like the UFC does online. But we did good, we had a couple media days, we did a lot of fun, good videos. But the media really played into it. I mean, we had numerous press conferences, commercials. I mean, this, this was the most heavily media fight ever in Sacramento. If you weren't talking all that shit, and pissing me off and my fans are pissed off you know your fans hated me too you know there was hate there was hate there was real hate against the fans they i mean there was hundreds dude it was that big because you were talking shit and the media bumped in on that the banner was back and forth numerous press conferences you're calling me a bitch and all this stuff on facebook you know the media was great it was stressful, don't get me wrong. It got to me sometimes. I was like, fuck him. You know, like really upset. It was really a lot of fun and exciting to uh, be involved in such a big event. We did a lot of good media with uh, Fight Mike and uh, a bunch of other interviews and media outlets. Kind of got some of the regional players jazzed up to get out there and uh, turn on their cameras and their speakers and, and, and you know go live on the radio. and. Really did a lot of uh, fun stuff, making videos and doing uh, fun promotional material and really getting uh, the public excited and getting the word out there, getting the public excited about coming out to the regional show. And um, the media days were really intense and we really had a good time. This hype carried. Whoever won this fight was going to get more after this. That's what it's about. It's about being noticed. It's not just about fighting. Because if we wouldn't have said a word to each other, it wouldn't have even been close to how big it was. No one even, I mean, they would have came, but they wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been the biggest show ever. All right. Record that? And then record. I just get wound up, like, thinking about them, you know? <laughs> I try not to think about them. <laughs> how can you not, though? This, what does this fight mean to you for January 23rd? Am I looking in the camera? You can look right here. This fight with David Mitchell means... Max. What do you want? You know when you used to call me on my cell phone? What? The fuck? You know when that hotline... <laughs> Yes, yo. Hello? What do you want? You know when you used to call me on my cell phone? What the hell? You know when that hotline bling? You're tripping, David. Max! Max! Are you there, Max? <laughs> Max! Are you there, Max? And then, uh, and then maybe you can add, uh, do you want anyone to add the fight, the, the fight thing at the end? You could yeah. just... Want to have him do it to the camera? Like, just like, it. come get your tickets, come see me fight January 23rd. Like, tell, tell fans. Max's fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Max, tell your fans to help me out. <laughs> Max, are you there, Max? Hit me up. For t <laughs> we can just cut that band. We, we can just cut that band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just start right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll just say, Four and then I'll the turn camera. to the camera and say that bit at the end. Just kind of just be like, Max, Max, be like, January 23rd, Max Griffin fans, hit me up for tickets. <laughs> Max. Max. January 23rd, West Coast Fighting 16. Tell Ma Max, tell your friends that your fans to hit me up for tickets. One more time. One more time. Rolling. Staring at the phone, just calling. 
What's this fool want? Pick it up. Hello? Hey, Max. I just want to tell you one thing. What? You used to call me on my cell phone. <laughs> Stupid. So at the beginning, uh, when I said thanks for joining us, guys, you heard David say, yeah, thanks, and he kind of gave it like, thanks for having me or something, so yeah. I'm super quick. Yeah, yeah. So I say it before that? Kind of like when he said it. Yeah. Same thing. Time. Okay, okay. All right. Would we'll you leave it rolling or you got it? I was just waiting to do it right one. after. We can add it to easily. Yeah, I'll do it. I was waiting. Yeah. I thought there's going to be a time. I thought I'd say it right when you, just like real life. Okay. Cool. So let's get up and go now. Man, I'm sick of this shit. Fuck that. I can do that again if you want. Well, no, one more thing, might as well just have, to it. have it. Just to have it, yeah. So, just listen real quick and go back. After the bitch thing? Yeah. Okay. So, play back again, just so he can bitch react. Let me right. just put the mic on top so that it's. Okay, let me see it. <laughs> That's God, yep. so a um, bunch of big fights on the line, so it's going to be a good one. Max, any uh, final things you want to say? Yeah, just gonna knock him out. Gonna shut him up. You talk too much, man. Any final words, David? January 23rd, Max Griffin. You're going to have to go to sleep. Or are you going to tap out like the bitch that you are? I'm tired of listening to this guy. Alright, I guess that's it. Uh, Max Griffin had just got up and left. Uh, well, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us, David. And this is Fight Mike, and we are out. See everybody January 23rd, West Coast Fighting 16. It's happening, the King of Sacramento. Thanks, guys. Boom! We, you know, been around 190 pounds all week, and I came over to my buddy's house at 187, so like 12 pounds over. We cut like eight pounds already, got like four more to go. Going pretty smooth, just bath, uh, burrito, bath, burrito, sauna, burrito. You know, I've been at a couple hours, three hours maybe. Um, I've been eating real healthy. Eating a lot of food. Last week I was eating like regular, you know? Even this week. I mean, yesterday is really the only day I really changed my diet a lot a little bit. Um, and I and I even still had five meals yesterday. I'm talking meat, carbs. So uh, Coach Doug knows what he's doing. And um, look at me. I mean I feel good. I'm not even dehydrated really. I mean I lost some water, but it's nothing. Minimal. Hey. Cowboy can enjoy this answer. Yeah, Cowboy can suck a bag of dicks. At this point, he ain't got nothing on me. I spied on the same card as Cowboy. He got his ass whooped by Mr. Pettis. And I whooped some dude's ass. <laughs> Chicago, that was fun. Tell us what you're doing. It's coming, look. Almost done. Almost gone. But I'm happy. <laughs> the difference between being miserable like, I'm not gonna make it. And being like, what's up? And the performance will reflect that. It will. You know? Straight up. The Vine Master. 46-2, bro. Two ounces. Yeah. My bad. Wash your clothes and then. Wash your clothes out here in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. After Wayne's, what are you, what are you gonna eat? Uh, after Wayne's, spaghetti, sushi, and then sushi. pancakes. Why do you eat that? Yeah, I just I've always done that. I crave it too, man. Sushi's really good. I don't know why. Just the carbs. Just, just carb stuff. and protein. Yeah, and then carbs. The, even like yeah. the soy sauce. Like there's a lot of sodium. You want to get a lot of sodium, so you hold on to all your water. Yeah. And all kinds of stuff like that. But yeah, sushi's. Yeah.
carbs, and water. Pedialyte, coconut water. Yeah. Do you weigh yourself? Like, I, I usually gain, after you eat, like, gain like 20, 25 pounds. Yeah. Right away? Like um, in a day. Like the, day. the next day. Like 24 hours? Yeah. Shit. I go in there weighing 170, 180. Damn. Yeah. So I'm not ripped when I go in the cage. <laughs> I'm always puffy. <laughs> if you see my fights, I'm like, I don't have a six pack when I go in there, you know? That's funny. I'm all man. puffy, dude. I'm like, <laughs> well, I think I'm heavy. It's all worth it though, man. This is a good camp for us. Weigh-ins are fun. You know, there, but there was a lot of drama with me and Alpha Male. You know, me being the opponent of their team. They don't like their opponents. Anyway, I saw him at the weigh-ins. He can't even talk. Uh, he's trying to like flex on the scale, you know. I'm glad he made weight though. Yeah, I mean, pretty much just avoided the guy, but uh, you know, I cut like 12 and a half pounds on fight. Uh, on the weigh-in day, and maybe it was a bit much, but I felt pretty good, and you know, it was it was really interesting. There's a lot of people there, and, and, and I think everyone thought maybe I was gonna make the weight. What would happen if I didn't make the weight? Would he still fight me? Blah blah blah. You know, I, I made weight, and um, I felt good, and I, I, you know, I I just uh, tried to rehydrate, but the doctor wasn't there, so I had to wait at the venue for um, like several hours for the doctor to get through all the medicals to give everyone a physical and uh, that really sucked, you know, so I was there pretty late. I think I was there till like 9 p.m. It was really unfortunate. You know, we finally got to weigh in against each other. It's funny, the whole time during this fight, he's been trying to piss me off, so he thinks I'm just furious pissed. And don't get me wrong, I was pissed off for a few months. But as it started getting closer to the end, I started getting excited, like, yeah, it's time. You talking all this shit? It's time. So I kind of flipped it on him. So I was smiling when we got, when he did the stare down, I was smiling. He was mad. He tried to flip it on me like he was mad. He was only sure he's thinking in the back of his head, like, why is he smiling at me? But I always do like the cold, mean stare. But this time I was smiling and I told him like, I'm gonna kick your ass tomorrow. You know, we're gonna have some fun tomorrow. It threw him off. I was, I, you know, I never talked to my opponents, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have some fun with you tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna knock you out. Yep. I'm gonna knock you out tomorrow. And he got all pissed off. He's like, he wasn't even talking. He's like, I tried to give him. I tried to shake his hand. He kicked my hand. But he was all pissed off. So I got back in his head, which was fun. You know, mind control. Controlling your mind. You think you got me, but you don't. But an interesting thing, um, this lady reached out to me on Facebook about her son, Ty. He has some terminal disease. Um, so she asked me, she's like, hey, um, you're a pro fighter. Do you think that you can, you know, send an autographed picture of yourself, you know, to my son for his birthday? He's a, you know, he's a fan. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to the fights. Let me have all the fighters there sign a poster. She's like, oh, that would be so blessed you know what i mean really cool really top and uh i did so i walked around trying to get these fighters to sign it some of them were you know act like they didn't want to sign it but majority did 99 percent did i even had to go up to david like hey man can you sign this poster it's for a kid that's sick and you know he was nice enough to sign it but that was interesting you know having your enemies you know help you for a good cause is good but I'm excited for the fight. Excited to, to beat this fool up tomorrow, you know? It's, uh, I'm ready. What should we expect to see out there tomorrow night? Nasty striking, nasty takedowns, nasty ground and pound, choke, submission, knockout. You're gonna see it all. And Max, same to you. What should we expect to see out of you tomorrow? Uh, he's gonna retire tomorrow. And, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. He says I've been ducking him. I'm such a good place. I'm ready to handle him. And uh, all of my doubters, I love you guys, and uh, we'll be friends tomorrow. I got on the scale and I was like, okay, 175.8. And then even then, like, I'm coming back up to where I'm like, am I gonna make weight? You know, like, it was yeah. weird. Yeah. Like, I'd already made it. Like, I didn't drink nothing. I don't know why I would think that I missed. It's just, like, weird in my head to be yeah. this light again, you know? Gonna kill I did the same thing. thing. Even when I hit on the scale, I, like, I'm scared to yeah. Like, I know I made weight, but. Yeah. What is he yeah. talking about?
about up there? I'm gonna have fun with you. Oh, fun. We're not having sex, bro. <laughs> what the fuck, man? No, I can't wait. I didn't eat yet. I had a drink, but I can't wait to go eat, you know. Uh, but I'm fine. You know, so other people have it way worse than me. So, uh, it's gonna be a good night, a good day tomorrow. On fight day, we had an open workout. We invited people to come down and watch me train. My uh, son was here, and we took a lot of pictures and had a good time just hanging out and just you know interacting with the fans and, and the friends and and, and uh, getting uh, pumped up for fight day. You know, I was trying to go for this UFC style kind of uh, mentality the whole time. So we did kind of uh, I invited people to come to the gym here and. Um, and watch me work out and hang out and take pictures and you know obviously hopefully buy tickets and uh, it was a lot of fun it was a lot of it was a very hyped hyped up day and uh, had a good time it was a little maybe a little too busy a lot of things a lot of different things on my plate and uh, you know we got through it all and um, you know just had a blast uh, setting setting the stage for you know an epic night January 23rd 2016 Fight day. How you feeling? Good, man. About to get my open workout on. Brought to you by Fight Mike. We're going to kill it. Brought to you by GFY. Official what, gear. What way are you? I don't know. I'm about to go find out right now. You want to go come find out with me? Yeah, bro. I just got to get back in shape and get From one, uh, one, uh, 75 and I'm uh, 197. 20 pounds. 20 pounds heavier. 197, 200 pounds. 200 pounds. Fucking monster right here. Have you ever seen me look like this? Never. Yeah. I've never looked like this in my entire life, bro. No, it's fucking scary. Yeah. It's not gay or anything. We just got a, a, a random weird dude in the bathroom with a camera. <laughs> It's not gay though. I'm the king of Sacramento, everybody know that. It's South Sac, Sacramento, baby, you know who I am. <laughs> We're here at Ultimate Fitness, gym, Team Alpha, home of Team Alpha Male. And uh, just sold a few more tickets this morning. Had a breakfast of bacon, uh, sweet potato, kale, uh, lana egg whites, and a couple of pastured eggs. And a uh, big cup of bulletproof coffee. About to work out, about to shake it out uh, with DJ, Donald Roberson, and uh, Joey Rodriguez. And just kind of get a little sweat in. Hopefully, a few more people will show up, buy some more tickets. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll roll a little jits or something, see how that feels. Dave's stand up has improved, man. We've been working for the last two years. His stand up has gotten so much better. Um, no one's really had the privilege to see but me, because I'm here working with him all the time. And in his fights, he's been, you know, getting the TKO or the submission. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, he'll get a chance to showcase his, his stand up. If not, you know, a win's a win with me. <laughs> Who's the king of Sacramento? I'm the king of Sacramento. Hey, we're here, baby. Woo! Hey, we're here, baby. Yeah. Nice little, nice little. David's uh, bigger, taller, stronger. Um, he should control the range. He's got long limbs. He's got heavy strikes. As long as he uses his teeth, his push kicks, his long jab, one, two. In the clinch, he'll be fine, but he has to work in. You know, Max is a dangerous striker. But, uh, you know, David's faced uh, some really heavy opponents with, with uh, great striking ability. So I got full faith that David's going to go in there and knock Max out. The crazy train is coming with long strikes. It's going down tonight. Tonight you get paid to punch a dude in the face, choke him out. It's not gonna make it out of the first. Born to fight, you know. Fight day. I'm relaxing all day, eating, drinking, relaxing. I want to say uh, I went home, cleaned up, watched Ninja Turtles. I watched Friday. I was just chilling. I'm, you know, I don't fake my mood on fight day. I'm just relaxed, you know? I'm, uh, I'm just sitting there, enjoying myself, being happy. I don't gotta pretend to be mean and pissed off and tough, you know what I mean? My fight's gonna speak for itself. I'm already prepared, you know? It's fight day, I'm 197. 
I'm eating potatoes and agave syrup. Watch Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Relaxing, man. This is what it's about. I mean, you could do whatever you want, but um, I have the recipes for success. And uh, it is another day in the office. So it's funny. So on on the on the on the scale thing, uh, in general weight. I'm like 195. After I eat, I'll be like 95 again. But after I drink that, all that, I'll be back to 200. I'll piss some out, but it's part of it. But the difference is like, he's not healthy. He looked dead on the scales. I'm surprised that the doctor even let him, let him even fight, you know? He probably didn't pass, did he pass his test? Did he pass? I wanna know if he passed. I remember when I fought Jamie that one time, they weren't gonna let him fight. But with, you know, when you're that dehydrated, it's like, it's literally like not healthy secret right here, man. It's a secret that you now know. How am I gonna win tonight? <laughs> the prediction has been. That's funny, dude. How old is he? Four. When I see him today, he's like, Did you get your king hat yet? Your king hat. <laughs> yeah, did you get your king hat yet? No, you didn't tonight.